Good morning to everyone. I'm Dr. Anand from EC department. I'm the professor. And this semester is, uh, is allocated to me about electromagnetic fields and waves. In this electromagnetic fields and waves, uh, there are so many topics, but I think we have three, two lectures. What we discuss is the glass law and how we are determining the capacitor in a spherical way. So that two lectures we discussed previously. This lecture, this uh, this class, this lecture is going to tell about uh, what are the main operators of electromagnetic fields. So, what is the title now? We are going to see operators of electromagnetic. This plays a very vital role. So, operator means it's going to do some performance in particular electric field. That's called operators. So, the operators of uh, electromagnetic fields. So how we are dividing it? So first one is we can say. It is called a gradient. And the second one is we can say that is called as uh, we can say it is a divergent. And the third one is it seems to be a curve, and both one is Laplacian. So these are the four important operators of electromagnetic field. If you want to calculate any Vector changes because the total electromagnetic fields are under the vector. If you take any closed surface, the electric field and magnetic fields all of come under the vector zone. So we are always using vector fields. In this vector field, specific operation is there. One is called gradient and divergence and curve and calculations. Uh, people, we, uh, we should understand that curve and divergence, it is there. The language of Language of Professor Maxwell. So this is that. So if you come across a Maxwell equation, it is it is simply the combination of divergent and curve. So this is very important to understand. If you know this concept very clearly, then we can easily understand what is Maxwell. I hope you know you know you are might have aware about Maxwell equation. The Maxwell equation is, is the prime equation of electromagnetic fields. It asks how the dynamic changes of electric field, how the dynamic changes of magnetic field, what is the result? That kind of analysis we can do. The four equation is rule the total electromagnetic fields. That word we can say very clearly. Okay. So, so with this one, I want to go the operators. So the main application of the operator is to know what is Maxwell. This is divergent and curve. And Laplacian is used to do what is the application of Laplacian is the some specific vector field is, is allowing the waves in favor or not in favor. Otherwise, uh, that some spaces are opposing the electric wave, some poses or some uh, spaces are allowing the uh, waves very easily. That kind of inspection. Whether the waves are possible to transmit or what kind of reluctance there, that kind of transmission, that kind of analysis we can get from Laplacian. If the field is Laplacian, if the vector field is Laplacian, definitely it will allow the, electro, the electric waves inside. So that is the main application of Laplacian inspection. And gradient, the gradient means in a vector field, in a vector field, how much changes? If you take a particular point in this point, it is filled with electric fields, all our electric fields, electric fields as the vectors are moving. So in this particular point, how much movement is applied? That kind of investigation we can done with the help of gradient. This is the main uh, analysis of not only uh, electromagnetic fields. If you come across any vector field, these pores are plays a vital role to investigate what is the change of uh, particular vector? So we come for the before that we must know one new operator is called del. The name del. So this is the Greek letter. So the del is is what does it mean in mathematical way? It is a change, a small change is can be represents as a del. Small change. Right? So what is the change is here? Del in this in our uh, electromagnetic field, what is del represent? It is the change in partial change in all directions. If you take 
del as a Cartesian coordinate, which become x, y, z. Del as a Cartesian coordinate, this becomes what? x, y, z. If it is del as a spherical, this become r, phi, z. Sorry, cylindrical. This is a cylindrical. If del as a spherical, we can say it's r, theta, and So these are the three parameters to determine what kind of del operators we are using for, uh, for our easy convenient representation. I am just taking that del as a Cartesian coordinate system. So del is equal to dou by dou x. This is differential. Differential means what? It is simply a changing. So dou by dou in which direction? That is a x direction. The unit vector. Right? Plus dou by dou by with a y vector plus dou by dou z a z vector. So this complete concept is known as del. So I think, can you imagine in this three axis, this is like x, this is y, and this is z. My unit vector is moving on a y. My unit vector is moving on a x, and my unit vector is moving on a z. So this unit vector is assume that I'm using particular point P. It is a combination of what? This a x, a y, and a z. This is the combination of all vectors. Now the vectors we can represent x is equal to 5ax plus 7ay minus 2az. This is simple a vector function. Simple vector. But if it is keep on moving here and there, the same thing vector is having the degree of freedom in 3. So it can move in any direction. It will produce a vector component which is changing. So that we have to use this delta. In this case, the vector is constant, but but physically, no electric field and magnetic field, even electric plus density and magnetic mass density, they are not a fixed vector. They are called variable vector. If it is variable vector, we must we must define the variable vector by using the number. So, if I use assume that the vector is now f, this is what f f is equal to five a seven a is means I can I can use here as a del f is equal to what dou by dou x of phi ax vector already the ax vector is the ax vector and dou by dou y of 7 a by vector and again the other vector is there that's dou by dou z of minus 2 a y vector or a z vector c a z vector so by seeing that we can easily understand all are become zero because this function is not having any the function of x all are 5, 7 and 2 and b so it is a fixed vector if this is a fixed vector the del and the gradient function is zero. Gradient zero means the vector is fixed. So by doing the gradient operations, we can check the mobility of the field, whether it is in a movement or it is not having any movement. It is a constant or dynamic that we can check in here. So this del and the gradient is used to check whether the vector is static or dynamic. That kind of information you will get from the gradient. So what is gradient is there? Simply multiplying. That is no. Is simply it is a scalar multiplication. The scalar multiplication of multiplication of del and vector is known as gradient. What is the information we get from the gradient? Is we are inspecting whether the vector is static or dynamic. If it is dynamic, in which direction it having more magnitude? For example, if the output may become around 2x in a z vector, means my vector is changing in z direction with the function of x values. That is the main objective of 
understanding by by getting this value, right? So next the next thing is we are moving to the concept called diversion. So what is diversion? Diversion already uh, the previous uh, lectures we discussed about diversion. The diversion means the del operator. What is del operator? It is a variable vector quantity in three dimension. What is del? Del means it is a variable vector in three dimension. And once again I will write it for your easy convenience. Do by do x ax vector plus do by do by u y vector. Do by do is it? Means changes simply d by d means changes a x y y means vector. Means what is there? Del means it is a three dimensional variable vector. Right. So dimensions means it is a dot product of the function. Dot product of the function. Dot product means what? You can make the total uh, functions may be a uh, uh, diversion means it is a dot product of del with this vector is called diversion. What we can uh, get the physical meaning of divergence is that, for example, we are this is filled with water. The water is this open now means my waters are splashing. My waters are splashing in a small point. So divergence means my vectors are moving from the origin to an exit. This kind of uh, how my vectors are moving in a particular point to. Some infinite value with that kind of information we get divergence operator. Finally, the cross curl operator. The curl operator is it is the is called divergence control. Like uh, one uh, uh, scalar scalar vector scalar scalar vector multiplication. Of them. Here, vector vector multiplication. Vector vector multiplication of del means del cross del. That says here, ax, ay, az, do by do x, do by do y, do by do z with the fx. F1 and F2. So this is then the cross product. Of. What is the use means? The curl means is, is, is rotational. The curl means it is whether my fields are rotating or is moving in a particular direction. That kind of analysis we can do the curl operator. Finally, Laplace theory. The Laplace means del square f is equal to zero. The second order differential function will be a zero for this function is called Laplacian. So what is the use of Laplacian? Already I told that the second order differential function becomes a wave function. So the wave function, so we are determining the Laplacian some, this is assumed this is the field, vector field. I can say this is Laplacian. This is Laplacian means this field is ready to accept my waves. So that kind of analysis we can done with the Laplacian. And curl is equal to, uh, is, a, is a vector, this is a vector, vector of vector multiplication. Vector of vector multiplication is curl. What is the physical meaning is whether the my uh, field is of rotating or it is not rotating. So rotational or rotational we can check with the curl. And divergence is splashing, splashing my, my field in a particular direction. How much is divergence for particular, it is a scalar of it is a scalar, dot product means scalar. Now the result will be a scalar, here the result will be a vector, and gradients also the result will be a vector, and the Laplacian is just we are inspecting whether it is a Laplacian or not the Laplacian. So I hope you get some good idea about this operator. So what are all the operators? Once again, I want to tell you. The first one is gradient, the second one is um, a diversion, and third one is curl, and finally. Laplacians. These four operators, these four operators plays a vital role in electromagnetic fields of inspecting the vector component. This may be electric field or magnetic field in a particular direction. It is known as uh, the, the importance of the operators. So, if you are clear with the operators, definitely you can inspect 
what is the nature of uh, vector fields in a particular space that we can understand. By using that, we can make it.